For this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can add reflections to your games. So you can have reflections like puddles, where you can see reflection of me, and or just reflections of buildings. You can add this reflection to anything like a sphere right here. You can see reflection of me, or even on a cube. Another reflection is having it for interiors. You can see this ball right here reflecting the entire room. There's a painting like right there and you can see the paintings right here. And I'll be showing you how you can add this kind of stuff to your games. Also, very quickly before we get to the tutorial, I started to use this VTuber model and decided to have it. So it's something interesting for you guys to see while you watch my videos. But if you guys think it's not right and I shouldn't be using it, tell me in the comments. But if you do like it, also tell me that in the comments. And if you like it, I'll continue using it for my videos. And if not, then I'll stop. Okay, to begin, open up a brand new Roblox Studio faceplate and then just add a part and we're going to make our reflection. So in order to make the reflection, just get a part, make its material glass, and then let's just make this transparency um, 20. And then after doing that, you're going to go to the toolbox, go to models and look up highlight, not highlight with an R, just highlight. Okay. Just select it and then drag the highlight into the part we just placed and after you do that you should see the reflection and but you'll also see an outline we don't want that so to get to get rid of that select highlight go to properties and then make the outline transparency one and if this and if it's like red like this make sure fill transparency is one so you want fill transparency and outline transparency both one now i'll be showing you how you can use this to make a puddle now we're gonna need our actual floor texture. So I'm gonna be doing a road. So just go on Google and just search up like concrete floor texture. I got this one from Polyhaven. So then we're just gonna download this. Once you have a texture downloaded, go to Photopea. Just click on open from computer and then open up the download of the floor texture. So once you have it opened up, you're gonna go to the eraser tool and then make the hardness all the way down. And you're basically just going to be erasing the parts where you want the puddle to show. So I'm going to erase over here and again underneath this, like this checkered part would be where the puddles would be. Okay, and that's it. I basically just said random splotches, random areas, and I just hope that will look good. But after you've done this, click file export in png now go back to roblox studio right click the base plate click on insert object search mesh part select it and then just size this mesh part the same size as the reflection and just put it on top okay and just make it on top of it now once we've done that click the plus next to mesh part look up surface appearance select it and then go to properties now you're supposed to click next to color map and then import your texture but if it doesn't work like it isn't for me go to file and then save to roblox and just publish your game and then it should let you do it now after your game is published now click on uh big over here next to color map add image and then open up what we just saved in photopea so the one with the holes switch overlay to transparency and then one more thing to make our our texture more realistic is we're gonna go to this normal website, this normal texture generator website. Just gonna double click this thing and open up the texture that has holes. And then you just wanna mess around these with these settings. You can copy what I do. And then after you're done, click download and then just save the texture. You're gonna be saving this like purple looking one in the middle. Now you should have these three textures, one with holes in it, one normal and one that's purple. So when we're going to be using these three to make our puddle reflections. So select the one with holes, go to explore, open it, surface appearance, properties, click next to normal map, add image, and then choose file and open up the purple looking one, the one that's named normal map. Now you can see adding this makes your texture a lot better. That looks way better. Now your reflections and your puddles is there, but there's a few more steps to it. So we're going to duplicate this layer and then we're going to go to surface appearance and changes color map to the one that has no holes so change color map to the texture with no holes on it now it'll look like this you want to get rid of the normal texture put this layer the ones with no holes underneath the reflection and put the one with holes on top of the reflection so it should look like this 
no holes, reflections, the holes. So just put them together. Make them all thinner. Hold on. Make it thinner. Put them all together. Now, if this bottom one wasn't here, we would just see through it, which is not what we want. So if you put that bottom one there, now we won't see through it. Also, yeah, I mean, I'm going to get rid of the normals. So I'm just getting, getting rid of the normals. There you go. So now I want to look down. I don't see through the floor. So that's what we want. One more thing. We're going to add one more layer. Just one more. So duplicate the bottom one, the one with no holes, and just put it on top of the reflection. And then we're going to go to transparency. We're going to lower its transparency. We're going to put it to like 0 0.5. Yeah, 0 0.5. And then put the top layer back on top. Now what this does is it makes the reflections not as sharp because that's not how puddles work when it's on something like this. So it just makes it less sharp and it keeps that texture. And also with this, you can actually change the puddle color. So if you go to surface appearance and the color here, you can change the color of the puddle. And that's only if you're selecting the second layer, the second top layer. So again, just to explain once more, I'm going to separate these to, just to show you how the layers work. So the bottom layer is just the texture without the holes. The second layer is the actual reflection. The third layer is this layer, but just on 0.5 transparency. And the highest layer is the one with the holes. And if you put them all together, you get your puddles. There you go. And I'm going to I'm just going to bring something from the toolbox to show the reflections better. Now there, as you can see, just quickly adding some stuff around it and adding, you know, there's our reflections. You can have this in your games. It makes something really interesting like this. Now, this kind of reflection is good, but the problem with this is it's always transparent. You can always see through it. You can't really get an object really reflective and not be able to see through it. So like this thing right here, I can see through it, which is not really what I want. So I'll be showing another technique in making reflections. So instead of having a highlight and then making the glass texture to like 10 transparency, we'll make it zero and then make the material just smooth plastic. Now we're gonna click on the plus next to the mesh and then you look up surface appearance, select it, and then go to properties. And actually, wait, hold on. First, we're going to need three different textures. Instead of going on Google and finding them, let's just find them on the toolbox. So we're going to need three different textures. Just complete white texture, a complete black texture, and a purple texture. So let's go to toolbox. Let's go to decals and just look up white and just try to get a plain white decal. So like these are good. So just drag it there. Just select, drag it, put it on the first block. Now we're going to write black. To get a plain black one that one's good now we're going to write normal just search normal and try to find purple ones like this it's like a pure purple one like that that is good but careful because they might actually have like a texture to them i can sort of see like a brick almost like a concrete just one normal plain looking purple texture so just keep searching until you get something like like that so like again this has hexagon patterns on it don't want that just want something simple it's like this is fine this has something on it but i guess that's fine anyways so double click the white one double click the white decal and then click the texture here and copy it in properties go back to the cone explore click on surface appearance within the cone go to properties and then at metal map just paste it we're going to paste the white decal now for the black texture double click it copy its texture Go back to surface appearance within the mesh and then paste the black decal into roughness map. And then you're going to double click the normal texture, same steps, copy the texture, go back to surface appearance and then paste the purple one into normal map. So we use all these three textures within it and doing that should make it reflective. So now it's reflecting. Now it's basically just the reflecting thing, but it's not see throughable anymore. So we're not going to see through it. It's the exact same thing as this thing right here, but we can't see through it, which is what we want. Now, you can't really notice it because it's just a sky. If you put this inside, like a, if you put this interior, then you'll actually see the reflection working well. So let's just get any interior build. Now, this is how it looks like with other meshes and in interior. So you can see over here, you can see the exact room is getting reflected on this part. And if you look closely to these other objects, other meshes, you can see it's happening as well. You can see the pillows and couches are right there. Where is it? Right there. And same with the cone, and same with this weird mesh that I found in the toolbox. 
and you might be wondering okay why don't you just get this and then set its reflectance to one well let me show you how that looks it would just look like this it would be reflecting the sky even though it's inside so basically this is doing what this is but it's just not reflecting the sky it's reflecting inside so this is better not making it reflect this one because that doesn't work as well and with that method you figure out how to do other things so like i'll be showing you another way to make puddles using this other second method so for example let's go to the photopia once again and then we're just gonna paint like a puddle shape and let's do it in black and i'm gonna be using this brush so if you just go to the brushes tool click over here and then over here is the brush i'll be using to make my puddle shape so just make a blob just a singular puddle is what we're making and it's going to be in black so this shouldn't be too hard to make just make it randoms here and oops make sure you're doing it on a new layer so click on this new layer and then do it do your puddle make sure you don't go on the edges like this you don't want it to cut off weird so we're just going to erase that now we're going to delete the background because we don't need that now once you have this you're going to save it and then name this, name it roughness. And then after you've done that, change this transparency to, let's say 60 or 65. And after you've done that, click file, export as PNG, save, and name it as color. Now we're gonna go back to that normal texture generator website and just open up the roughness one. Now once you open up the roughness, you can make the strength very high maybe make the level lower it doesn't really change but basically just want it in purple so you're going to download this and name it normal oh and one more thing go back to photopia let's undo this so it's so it's all black press Control and u and just make the lightness all the way high so now it's white now we're going to save this and name it metalness now you should just have all these four color which is just a slightly lower transparency of roughness metal which is all white normal which is all purple and roughness which is all black so you just want all these four right click the ground click insert object search mesh part and select it so just get a mesh part then in explorer click the plus icon next to mesh part and look up surface appearance and select it click surface appearance and go to properties now as you can see it says color metal normal and roughness we named each of them to where they should be so the color map should be color Metalness would be the metalness, normal would be the purple one, name normal, and roughness would be the all black. So click next to color map, add image, choose file, and select the one that's color. And then do the same with metal, normal, and roughness. Now change overlay to transparency. And then you can size it how you want it and then flatten it. And it should be reflecting. If you do if I do a different sky, it should look better. So here's a city sky, and as you can see, there's a reflection of our puddle. And you can have this placed around. You can put it on top of like a concrete floor. So like if I get this concrete texture that I used for the road, I can just put these puddles on top of it. There you go. And that's our puddles. And with this, you can also just change the color. Also, one other thing is you can combine this method with the previous method we just learned to get something really cool. So let me show you what I mean. So let's take this. Let's duplicate it, get rid of the surface appearance, I'm going to make them both white, I want a white color, I'll delete the rest. So then we're going to have to add the highlight, so let's go back to our puddle, oh I have it right here. So let's get the highlight, copy it, paste it into the sphere, and then make it glass and make the transparency. For this method, just make the transparency really high, so let's just make it 1000. Now you want to, now you want to click on the sphere, go to properties. Copy the position, go to this sphere, paste the position, and then I'll just size it down a little bit. And basically what you did is put this sphere, the second method, inside the first sphere, which, is, which was the first method in reflection. Now you just combine them both, and there you go. Now you have this really shiny looking ball. So like if I take this outside, it's a really shiny ball. Of course, if you're outside, then you can just do a normal... For outside, you can just do a normal, like, um, if I can get this to work. You can just do this, but this only works for outside. It doesn't work inside. So like, if I bring this in, it reflects the sky, which is not what we want. So this is not good. But if you use this, which is both of the reflection methods combined, it works outside. 
and it also works inside. So you can have this ball anywhere. You, know, you can also change the color of it. It's a pretty cool method. I'll just leave it as white, and then and you can use this. You can use this as a nice detail in your house. Look at that. And that is it. If this video helped, please consider subscribing, or at least leave a like. And comment if you have any questions. I'll try to respond to them best I can. And that's it. Bye.